Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, August 6th. I'm James Spann. Classic summer day today with sun, heat, random scattered storms. Showers and storms will likely increase in number later this week in case you missed the rain today. Let's check it out. There's the upper air look. Not a flat ridge down here across the deep south. The mid-latitude westerlies are north of the state. Very classic look for early August. And like you might expect, we have a few pockets of convection. That's the visible satellite view. Most of the scattered storms over north and west Alabama so far today. That's the radar at 240. Pretty decent storms over parts of Walker and Winston counties. Pretty good shower in Morgan County, south of Huntsville. But the eastern and southern counties of the state are fairly dry. Showers not moving much. They fade away once the sun goes down later this evening. Up on the uh, watch warning map today, heat advisories for parts of New England. Scattered pockets in the west, but overall things are quiet. Check the numbers. Temperatures mostly upper 80s and low 90s, but where rain is falling, we have 70s. For example, Haleyville, they're down to 76 degrees. Hot spot, Muscle Shoals at 94, Tuscaloosa 93. We'll expect low to mid 90s tomorrow, but highs probably drifting back in the 80s later this week as clouds and showers increase. There's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. A chance of severe storms from Denver to near Detroit and Cleveland. Tomorrow, a marginal risk from St. Louis and Kansas City up to New England. Slight risk over parts of Colorado and New Mexico. And for day three, a marginal risk around Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. And down here, we stay in the green. That means storms are possible, but organized severe weather not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain uh, pretty uh, pretty decent across the southern and eastern states. In Alabama, rain amounts most likely between one and two inches. But some of you could see more. Some of you might see less. That's the way it works in summer. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. Tropical weather. little swirl out there in the middle of nowhere, the middle of the Atlantic. NHC with a 30% chance of development. But that's moving up toward the North Atlantic. No threat to land. So no issues down here. The Gulf of Mexico stays very quiet. Model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. Got a shortwave trough north of the state. And down below that, tomorrow, much like today, partly sunny, hot, humid, a few spots getting a storm in the afternoon. Highs 92 to 95. Classic summer day. Wednesday, the ridge weakens, and we think showers and storms will become uh, greater in number. The high will drop to about 90. Thursday, showers and thunderstorms are likely, and Friday, the same thing. Mostly cloudy both days with highs back in the 80s. Chance of any one spot getting a shower Thursday and Friday in the 60 to 70 percent bracket. But it's not going to rain all day. The sun peaks out at times, but the weather's certainly looking rather unsettled for the end of the week. This is Saturday as the weekend begins. Chance of scattered showers and storms, the high close to 90, and the same thing Sunday. A mixture of clouds and sunshine, scattered showers and storms, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours with highs 87 to 90. Here's a week from today, Monday the 13th. Pretty good little trough digging in here. And again, that suggests the air may be a smidgen drier, but still a risk of scattered showers and storms, highs mid to upper 80s. Let's go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, August 16th. Kind of a wavy flow pattern north of here. Got a ridge in place here, and that looks fairly quiet if that happens to verify. Check the numbers. Potential for 94 tomorrow. Low 90s on Wednesday, then highs mostly in the upper 80s through the weekend and early next week. And that is not bad at all for August in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.